Welcome to Drova, Forsaken King, a game that promises a rich, dark fantasy world inspired by Celtic mythology, full of secrets, danger, and tough choices. But is this indie RPG a hidden gem? or a game that that's more broken crystal than a mystical treasure. Well, my name is Avalon, let's find out together as we dive into a world of Drova for Second King. Now, when I first heard about this game, I was interviewed. Dark fantasy? Check. Beautiful pixel art world? Check. A unique combat system with lots of ways to die? Oh, you bet. Check. But like any self-respecting RPG, Drova doesn't just hold your hand, it pushes you into a pit of hungry wolves, figuratively and literally. And we'll talk about those wolves, oh, we'll talk about them. First, let's talk about the world. Drova is, well, it's kind of a place you'd want to live if you could, but it's not so dang interesting. You're kind of forced to stay, you start as a slowly droid from struggling villages, and you're thrust into the mystical land of Drova, with nothing but this mysterious red crystal and the weight of your villagers' survival on your shoulders. Sounds pretty dire, right? Well, it is, but it's also compelling. The vault is filled with a rich lore and it's beautifully handcrafted. Yes, it's a bit grim, but there's something hauntingly beautiful about this pixelated landscape. It's not the most colorful world, but it's alive, and that's what makes it feel real. The more you explore, the more you uncover, and the deeper the rabbit hole goes. And let's not forget the NPCs. The characters you meet in Trova aren't just quest givers. They are interesting, well written, and most importantly, human. There's a sharp wit to the dialogue that keeps things fresh. Even when you're slogging through the game's tougher sections, trust me, you'll want to talk to everyone. Then there's a crafting system. Whether you're hunting down wild beasts, gathering herbs, or forging new weapons, Drova makes it feel worthwhile. You're constantly getting rewarded with new recipes, new gear, and if you're lucky enough, new ways to survive the deadly world you're stuck in. Alright, enough of the nice stuff. Let's talk about the real challenge in Drova. Combat. And honestly, combat is tough. It's brutal. Early on, you'll find yourself face to face with enemies that can kill you in a few hits. Wolves, big blood flies, they're like little wing death machines. They don't mess around. It's not the worst thing in the world, death is a part of Drova, but it can feel frustrating, especially when you don't quite know how to counter or dodge some of the more complex enemy attacks. And the combat controls, yeah, they can get clunky. I can't tell you how many times I accidentally stole my weapon when I meant to dodge. And don't get me started on the combat stance. It's like learning to dance with a battle axe. Except the dance is will I survive this encounter or not. And let's not forget the technical glitches. Oh yeah, Drova can be a little buggy. I've had crashes, map glitches, and even a few times where I couldn't interact with the world or my character got stuck in digital limbo. Definitely not kind of the adventure you want when you are trying to explore a new world. Still, these problems are a bit more forgivable when you realize now how immersive the world is. Drova is a kind of game that rewards patience even if it sometimes takes a patch or two to fix things up. And for all of the technical hiccups, when the game's running smoothly, it's a truly unique experience. Alright, let's talk about the gameplay mechanics. As I mentioned earlier, you won't get a traditional map right away. You'll have to rely on your instincts and some clever in in investigation mechanics to find your way. This means there's no holding your hand here. You'll force to pay attention to the world and its clues. Trust me, that saved your life more than once. As for character progression, it's pretty deep. You get to specialize your skills, level up through combat, and craft your way to survival. You can join one of or two factions, the idealistic Nemeton or the more survivalist Remnants, each with its own set of advantages. The choice is yours, but each comes with a hefty price. You'll feel the consequences of your decisions throughout the game. So. Is Drova for Second Gain worth your time if you like deep choice driven RPGs with a world full of danger, secrets, and tough decisions? Then, absolutely sure. Sure, the combat can be frustrating, the world's little hard to navigate at times, and the technical bugs can take you out of the experience, but when it works, 
It's a hauntingly immersive journey into a world that feels both alive and unforgiving. The Road of Forsaken King is a game that will make you want to explore it, and a game that will make you want to tear your hair out in the process. If you are into that kind of challenge, then maybe it's the time to you to join the journey. Just maybe bring a spare save file, just in case, you know? So, my name is Ebola and I will appreciate to see your thoughts in the comment and until the next video, peace.